Sure. She's being good today. Huh? Wait, wait, oh? You're being good. You're being a good bird today, finally. Oh, how the heck are you guys? It's been a while. Would you like to talk to them? Would you like to play around? Today, you know, I figured, I figured I'll just do a little live stream today. What's up, Victoria? Do a little live stream today. It's been a while. Blue Python, what's up, dude? Hey, don't bite me. What's been going on, guys? How the heck you guys doing? Hey, you need to stop it. We got Ralph over here. Everybody's just hanging out with each other. It's been a pretty good morning so far. Not too shabby. I need to figure out a way to slow these things down. Sorry. Freaking live streams, man. I tried hooking it up to my computer. And, uh, I don't know, that was a huge pain in the ass. I had to download some crazy program and do all these other things. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it for myself. Who the heck just sent me 10 bucks? Ashley Hermacy. Just 10, you didn't even ask me anything. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate it. So what the heck has been going up, guys? How, how are you? How is everybody? I know it's been a minute. 2020 ended crazy and you know what I mean? Didn't start out any better either, you know? I got COVID at the beginning of the year. So it's been real, it's been real crazy, you know? I've been missing you guys too. Thanks, Ricky. Horrible new president. Oh God, let's not even go there. Yeah, dude, it's, uh, it's 2021 was, or 2020 was definitely crazy. Um, a lot of reasons, you know, business reasons, relationship reasons. Um, dude, it's just like, it, it puts you down in the dumps, you know what I mean? It was, uh, it was fucking, dude, dude, yeah, it just, everybody, everybody lost loved ones, a lot of people got sick, like, dude, it, it's crazy. <laughs> hey, you hear this? She's being so crazy. Happy 40th B-Day. What up, Walter? Happy freaking birthday. Actually, it's also my nephew's birthday. Uh, Hayes, my, my brother's kid, Chase. Uh, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but whoever does follow me on Instagram, you always see me posting uh -huh. pictures and videos with my nephew all the time. He's awesome. He turns four today. So we're actually, uh, actually, I'm glad your spirits are getting better, bro. You are. Thank you so much, bro. Man, I've just been I just trying, to, trying to grind, trying, uh -huh. trying to stay focused. Trying to do my thing, trying to be happy, you know, trying to stay positive, which, you know, it's not always the easiest thing to do. But, uh, let me see what, uh, let me see what we got for some questions over here. Now, I, I, uh, I posted something yesterday on my Instagram about, did I hear Larry King died? Yeah, Larry King died a while ago, I thought. No? But yeah, um, a lot of people were asking, uh-oh, it's lagging. No, it's ah! lag. I hope it doesn't lag. How's it now? Sorry. Um, this is why I don't like doing live videos. It's just hard. Even with like my internet, I literally have the best internet you could possibly get. And it's still just an absolute pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> okay, so update on the new land. That was a, that was a huge question that a lot of people were asking. Um, when I posted those things, I am still, I am still looking for property. I'm still thinking about, uh, thinking about what's going on with everything. Um, I'm actually, uh, aside from my tattoo shop and aside from my YouTube channel, um, I'm actually going into business with my buddy, Brandon. I don't know if you guys have uh, seen him. Actually, I, I put him on a couple of videos on here. B Maisie. He's one of my really, he's one of my best friends. He's a, He's an ex-professional motocross rider. Uh, dude, he rode pro for forever. He's a badass. He's a rapper. He's, he's just a, he owns a wood company. He's just an entrepreneur. He makes, he's just a smart dude, likes making money. I like making money. I like to consider myself somewhat smart. Hey, would you relax? She's like being jealous. She's like, dad, play with me. Talk to me. Stop talking about your house. But yeah, so me and Brandon, 
I'm we're gonna, gonna try it. We're trying to open up this new like facility ah. soon, a little bit more up north, which is where I want to get a property. Um, it's actually close to the <laughs> area that Chandler just got a property at, which is really cool. So eventually, I'm gonna be moving all my snakes ah. up there. We're gonna be opening up uh, a facility for like creators ah. and just a bunch of awesome stuff. I'm gonna be moving my snakes and all my animal, pretty much all my animals up there to a way bigger area. Ah. Um, and then hopefully I'm going to work on opening up a public facility ah! that you guys can come see, which is awesome because right now I have everything in my house ah! and obviously you guys can't come over to my house whenever you want and come see the animals. It's not like a public ah! facility. This is where I live. Um, so this new ah! facility is going to be open to the public where you guys can ah! drive from all over the place or fly in, whatever you want to do. You guys come hang out. You can make content with us. You can ride motorcycles with us. You could rap or you can, you could get tattooed. You could do all sorts of like a fantasy factory fun center. You know what I mean? Ah! I don't know if you guys watch Danny Duncan, but like Danny has like his like big property in Sarasota. Just, I mean, we just need, we need land and we need property to like do cool shit all the time. You know what I mean? So a public facility would definitely be awesome, especially somewhere where you guys can come interact with us, hang ah! out, do all this, this, that, and the other thing. Obviously, I'm still going to own my tattoo shop, but I'm still going to be doing YouTube. I'm going to be actually hitting ah! YouTube even harder when we get the facility because now I'll actually have a more legit place to film stuff, which would be ah! awesome, will be awesome. It's in the works. It's going to take a little bit, but ah! we're, looking at, we're looking at property right now. We're looking at land, um, and we're just going to... It's gonna just have to work itself out, you know, eventually. So, 3.5 acres. Yeah, no, we're actually looking at like, oh, congratulations, you got 3.5 acres. Does my house stink? No, it does not stink. Um, <laughs> hi, Jeruk. Everybody wants to say hi to you. But yeah, man, so things are good. Say uh -huh. Maldives, if you can see this message. Say Maldives, I don't know what Maldives is. Um, Greg Dixon, you sent me 10 bucks, bro. Thank you very much. Derek Hampton, dude, awesome. So yeah, dude, I'm just, I'm just trying to do my thing. I'm just trying to stay busy. I'm trying to keep my mind off dumb shit. Um, you know, life, life is crazy. You know, I'm a human. I'm literally, I'm a human being. I have emotions just like everybody else. You know what I mean? Where is your reptile junkies tank top? Oh, it's actually right here. Taruk, would you get off me real fast? Can I just like show somebody something real fast? Hey, come here. She's wild. Reptile junkies. You guys sent me a shirt. I appreciate it. I need to wear it in a video soon, but it's dope. Got a sweet cobra on it. Reptile junkies. I dig it. Watching the fight tonight. Yeah, maybe I'll watch the fight tonight. I don't know. I'm going to play it by ear. I have my, like I said, it's my nephew's birthday party today. So uh, I'm gonna be spending some time with some family for the first half of the day. And then, uh, and then yeah, I'll probably watch the fight later tonight, maybe, if uh, I can watch it with somebody that I would like to watch it with. But yeah, we'll see how that's going. So let's get any more, uh, what are the questions we got going over here? I know I screenshot a bunch of them the other day. Tarouk, you gotta watch out. I'm trying to, trying to do things over here. Oh, let me see. Is the shop open tonight? I've been waiting on a call for you for something big. Yeah, the shop is open today. I will not be there for the first half of the day, like I said. I have a lot of things to do today. It's my nephew's birthday. But you can call the shop. Oh, my God. I almost dropped my iPad. That would not have been good. Um, but, yeah, you can call the shop, and uh, you can book an appointment with my new assistant. My new assistant's name is Josh. So if anybody has been emailing me back and forth about uh, booking tattoos and all that stuff, you're gonna talk to Josh now. Um, we're, very, we're being very selective on what we are. Oh damn, people are fucking sending me a whole bunch of money. Tyler, I've been following you for about a year, but I'll be damned if you aren't one of my favorite damn creators. You're a huge inspiration and just love life to the fullest. What is something that sparks your fire? Thank you, Seth. Um, damn, what is something that sparks my fire? Dude, I don't know. Honestly, like my family, like and my friends and a couple other important individuals. Um, I lost my fire for a while. Uh, 
Yeah, and it sucks. But um, dude, I have go I have goals. I'm trying to I'm trying to meet. Um, I've made mistakes in the past that I'm I'm definitely reaping the benefits or reaping the consequences from right now. Um, but yeah, I had a fire. I had a fire for a while that really helped me motivate me um, and gave me inspiration and just made me want to be better. And uh, I lost it. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get it back. And hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully I get it back. It's, uh, it's hard. This particular person's, you know, I, it's their hurt. Um, I have to, I have to like, you know, it's, it's life. I gotta do, I gotta, I gotta get it back. I gotta get my fire back, Seth, to answer your question. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, that's my answer without getting too emotional over here. So <laughs> I'm just going to go on to the next question. Buy some pet food on me. Um, Jamie, dude, thank you for the 20 bucks. I appreciate that, man. How would I come to your facility? I'm in Foss, South Florida. Well, eventually, once I get a facility, um, like I said before, we're, we're looking at properties right now. Um, we're trying to open up a couple new businesses and just do this huge, extravagant property. Um, where creators can travel from all over the place, not only just like YouTubers, but you know, influencers on Instagram and just, just everything. If people want to come, people want it's like a, like a fantasy factory. You know what I mean? People want to travel from all over the world. They want to film cool videos. They want to do cool stuff at their, our facility. We're going to have, we're going to have all the tools there, um, ready for everybody's disposal. You know what I mean? So, and we're still, we, and we will also have people being able to come through, check us out, meet us, hang out with us. Um, there's tons, there's gonna be tons of fun stuff to do on the facility. We're gonna have a gym there. We're, dude, we're gonna have like everything. We're going literally balls to the wall. Recording studio, podcast room. Like, it's gonna be insanity. Oh, but yeah, um, let me see what we got going on here. I would so come to your facility, dude. Thank you again. Um, Heather James, I would boop, boop, boop. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dang, you guys are awesome. So, hey, would you stop? I'm trying to talk. See, this is why I don't do many videos with my bird. Because when I'm on the phone or filming or anything like that, she's just up my ass the whole time. She just will not leave me alone. I'm going to have to put you back in your cage for the time being if you don't behave yourself, Tarouk. All right, so what else do we got going on here? Which tattoo machine do you recommend for a beginning apprentice? I, re I recommend you start on coils just because, dude, that's, you need to learn how to use coils before you can do anything. Um, but obviously, if you have a good mentor, he's not going to let you use anything else anyways. So... Best of luck with you. Tyler, when is the new Snake King documentary coming out? Oh, man, I do not know. Kind of dreading it. Um, I'm dreading it, and I'm not dreading it. It's cool. It's going to be good publicity, and it's going to be funny, I guess. But, uh, yeah, man, it's, uh, I don't know. It was me and Kayla in that. So, um, I don't know. Hopefully things are better by then. Hopefully, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm not really looking forward to that new thing, but whatever. Um, can you miss Brew, Brew, Brew? This year is going to be dope. Yes, I know. Fertilance. Uh, Fertilance, yeah, Fertilances are cool. They just don't really tickle me that way. You know what I mean? Um, life is hard sometimes. Just remember this too shall pass. Oh, my God, this too shall pass. It's funny that you say this too shall pass. Um, because, like... Kayla has it tattooed on her arm. So it's like, I don't know. It's just ironic. I don't want that to pass, though. Um, so, yeah. It's just, it's just funny. One of my friends said it to me yesterday. He was like, this too shall pass. And I'm like, yeah, but it, I don't want it to. <sighs> but, yeah, whatever. Give that little girl a shout out. Parachute jump with Pepe. Parachute jump with Pepe would be awesome. How many times you tattoos on a white girl? I don't know what that means. Um, when am I coming to California? California. Um, I don't know. California is actually one of the worst states to be in right now. So I really could care less about being in California. Or honestly, I could care less about being in any state in general. Um, I live in South Florida. South Florida is completely open. 
you know, our restaurants are open, our gyms are open, everything is open, everything is pretty much back to normal. So I have no reason to leave this state of awesomeness when everything else is closed, you know what I mean? So like, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. Um, so yeah, I probably won't be going to California for a long time. Do you have any regrets when you were on Ink Master? No, I don't regret, I actually, I really liked being on Ink Master. Um, it was fun, it was a great time. I met some great people. Um, who I'm still friends with today. Uh, yeah, it was obviously pretty crazy, you know? It's TV, it's television, so you have to, uh, you have to, you have to listen to a producer all day, you know what I mean? It's not like my, my YouTube channel, like I'm talking to you guys just like I'm sitting down talking to you in general. Um, TV is not like that. TV is very drama-fed, um, it's just a lot of BS, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, you just, you have to deal with the TV aspect of it. It's not very real. Like reality TV, Ink Master is reality TV. It's not, it's not very real. It's, uh, there's a producer. They tell you like how they want you to act, what they want you to do, how they want you to, what they want you to say. The people that you tattoo um, on, the, on the show, they have inner ears, so they're listening to some freaking microphone in their ear. They're talking to, uh, they're talking to, they're talking, the man, the director is talking to the canvas in their ear. They're telling them to complain. They're telling them to, be, you know what I mean? It's just all very manipulated. TV is, TV is a manipulated thing. It's like, even big YouTubers, like there's a lot of big YouTubers. Maybe that's why my YouTube channel is a, growing. I feel like my YouTube channel is growing decently fast. But there's a lot of YouTubers out there that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that was terrible. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that they stage a lot of things and they fake a lot of things. And uh, that's how they get all these crazy views and stuff. They put these crazy thumbnails and these crazy titles and all this fake stuff they they put in they put burmese pythons in their uh -huh. pools and they you know what i mean like they just they do all this crazy stuff that like really wouldn't happen in real life and but i mean that's it that is what it is so i like to keep things on the real end um i like to just i like to be super transparent for you guys i'm just a regular ass i'm just a regular ass dude you know i'm just i'm just some dude that lives in florida has a freaking crazy bird and a bunch of snakes um, yeah, life is good. I have nothing to really complain about. Do you want a lot of money to be a creator for YouTube? Um, it's not necessarily I want a lot of money for anything. Um, yeah, money is awesome. Money helps. Um, money buys you nice things. You work hard for it. You make money. Um, oh, dude, pack python. Bro, thank you so much, dude. Another whiskey sour on me. And, dude, honestly, I think about the shit that you said all the time. I remember being in Daytona. I remember we were having drinks, and uh, you were. T I was in the. I was like. I, I was with Kayla at the time, but we had just like gotten back together. And I remember like just you were telling me you were like, dude. He's like, he's like, I, I unsubscribed for your channel. He's like, I was a huge fan of yours. And then you know you broke up with Kayla the first time or whatever, however it happened. Um, <laughs> And yeah, you're like, I didn't like you anymore. And I was like, yeah, dude, I fucking, I don't like you. Oh my God, I got just smacked in the face by a wing. And I was like, yeah, dude, I don't like myself anymore. I remember telling you that at the bar. And it's so true. And I don't know how I forgot about that and how I let that slip my mind and how I didn't let that stay as an important thing in my head. But yeah, dude, I fucking... Like, I don't know. Some people are brought into your life because you need them. You know what I mean? Some people are, I, I believe that people are made for you. I believe, I believe that God puts people in your life for certain reasons. And you just got to trust him and not be an idiot. And yeah, dude, it's fucking, it's hard. But uh, yeah, man, I remember that day. Like it was yesterday. It, it fucks me up for sure. But, yeah. But anyways, how is everything else, man? I fucking, I just need to stay positive, you know? Ooh, my voice is cracking. <laughs> Internet is failing. It's not good. Let's talk about my truck. Let's talk about some cool things. Let's not talk about sad stuff. My truck, you see this? I'm going to try to show you guys right here. Um, 
without getting off my Wi-Fi. But the old truck is still here. I just got it back today. Um, it had some transmission issues. That's the main reason why I'm getting rid of my truck. I, I tow my boat all the time. I tow motorcycles all the time. Um, I need a truck that can work and function correctly all the time, which is why I'm getting a new truck. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be here. Dude, I ordered the new truck. I ordered the new truck. How long ago was it? Two months ago now. So, uh, yeah, two months ago, ordered it, and it's sick. I can't wait to tell you guys, like, what it is. I mean, it's, it's dope. I got, I got the new Ram, 2021 Ram, uh, 2500 heavy duty and the reason why it's taking so long holy crap what did somebody sent me a hundred bucks dude sarah thank you so much dude keep crushing it brother i appreciate that um you could dude you guys are you guys are the best like this is you guys are the shit man i, I appreciate every one of you um but yeah the new the new truck i got is the dodge 2021 ram the mega cab so it's got that huge freaking Got that huge ass cabinet, plenty of room for whatever comes at my way in life, you know? Um, I'm, I'm lifting it, I'm putting fucking, I'm putting 40s on it. Um, it's all blacked out. It's gonna be sick, man. Just the inside of that. Reptile Junkies, dude, I'm sending you a face guard or mask. Got the Cobra on mine today. Oh, thanks, Reptile Junkies. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, man, I just, I just need a new truck. I need more space. I need my property. I need my fucking, I need my girl back. I need to, yeah, I, I, I gotta do a lot of things, man. I've been trying to keep my head up, you know? It's, I've been trying, you know? It's easier said than done, you know what I mean? I'm getting help. I'm talking to a lot of people, which is obviously awesome. You know, my main, my main issue with dealing with all this shit in the past is that I don't open up to anybody and I put up walls and I, I ignore people and I shun them out and I mistreat them. And I, it, it's a lot, dude. It's, you guys don't realize what it's like to have so many people like up your ass all day and on, on top of your business. And you know, you can Google all sorts of crazy things about me that's not, not even true. Um, it's just, it's, it's a lot, you know? Um, and it's like hard, it's hard on your brain, especially when you're dealing with all, all sorts of other things that comes at you in life because we're humans, we all have emotions, we all, we all, go, we all have our ups and downs. Life will be fucking, and dude, my life is awesome. Like my life legit is awesome. Like it really is. Like I, dude, I have a beautiful house. I got a beautiful bird. I got my cats, my dog, my animals. I got, look sunshine, palm trees, my boat, water in the backyard. Dude, I am blessed for sure. I thank God every day this. And like just keeping me on somewhat of a decent path. You know what I mean? Um, I'm very thankful and I, I love my life, but it's missing a couple things right now. You know, just missing a couple things. Hopefully I get those things back. I'm trying. I've been trying. It's, um, yeah. But, dude, look how beautiful it is, you know? Like, can you see the palm trees out there? Dude, it's beautiful outside. You know what I mean? Like, it's awesome. I love it. Yeah, I know. I'm good. Stop being a bitch. Dude, I, trust me. I don't want to. I don't want to be a bitch, bro. Like, I don't fucking, like, I don't. It's, it's hard. You think I like being sad all the time? It's stupid real dumb uh, oh, I'm fed up with all of it bro people tell me what to say blah, 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 blah. yeah I get it I love you Tyler avian chicken breeders and Avery what I don't even know what the hell that is people out there with real problems yeah dude people are out there with real problems I mean I'm not I'm not I'm not saying I don't have real problems. Yeah, my problems are minuscule compared to a lot of people's. You know, there's way worse things out in the world. People are sick, people are dying, people are losing their jobs, people are losing their families, people are losing their homes. Thank God I'm not. I thank God every day that I'm not. Um, canal jump, holy crap, someone said canal jump. That is literally, I think that's the first time somebody said it on here. Would you stop? Hey. 
Don't bite me hard. You see? She's being a little brat again. Ah. Whatever. It's my nephew's birthday today. Like I said in the beginning of this video, he is four years old. So, I actually have to get ready here in just a little bit. I'm going to talk to you guys for another few minutes. And then I got to go. I got an important day. I got to go see my family and do things. Um, hi. Can I help you? I wish she would say other things. I keep trying to, like, say other little phrases to her so maybe she would pick it up. But... <laughs> Cindy N, I love how you keep it 100 with us. That's why I subscribe to you and only you. I'll keep you in my thoughts and my prayers to keep us safe and happy. God gets us through tough times. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate it. God does get us through some, some shit for sure. And sometimes I forget it. And I, yeah, it's, it's got to stay positive. You know what I mean? Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate that. What size gauges are you at now, and how long have you been stretching your ears? Man, my ears. Uh, I've been stretching my ears for, I mean, I haven't even stretched my ears for, who, what is it? Uh, dude, my ears have been this size for 12 years, which is crazy. Um, they are an inch and five eighths, which is, what, 42 millimeters. Honestly, I, I don't think I would ever have done this before. If I could, if I could talk to young Tyler about stretching his ears, I would probably be like, yo, don't stretch your fucking ears, bro. You're going to look like, I mean, I like my ears now. This is what I look like. Um, yeah, of course I can stretch them pretty well. I would never do that though. Um, yeah, I just don't, I don't know. Like everybody says weird things. Like I don't know if you guys like follow my comments on YouTube, but like people say some nasty shit to me sometimes. So like, it's just like. Random people that don't know me. Obviously, the people, you guys, my true fans that actually watch me and stuff and, like, interact with me and, like, read my shit and all that stuff. You guys know about, you know, how I feel and how I'm, like, I'm a real person. I'm not, like, some idiot. I don't know. I keep it pretty real. So... Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm human. It, it, honestly, when people are like, oh, look at those dinner plates in his ears. Look at this fucking freak. Like, just, you know, it, it, as much as it doesn't bother me, at the end of the day, it's still annoying. You know what I mean? People, uh, like, they don't ever say anything about my tattoos. Like, they can care less about the tattoos on my face or on my neck or whatever the heck the, the thing is. Um, it's always my ears. Hi, Tarook. What are you doing? At least I got, at least I got this one right now. But yeah, I don't know. Oh, Taruk, my sweet little babe. Yeah, man, things will get better though. I'm, I'm being positive. I, I fucking, I pray several times a day for, for things to get better. I'm trying to stay focused. I need to get back in the water, man. Like I need to, I need to, I need the ocean. The ocean, I uh, haven't been out on the ocean in, uh, I haven't been diving in, dude, I haven't dove in probably close to two months now, month and a half, something like that, which sucks. I need that. I need the ocean. The ocean clears my head, you know, when I'm, when I'm, when I got my freaking, when I got my regulator in, you know, you're underwater, you're in this whole nother world. That's all you're thinking about. You know what I mean? Nothing in life stresses you out. All the, all the bullshit in your life is just like gone. You're just like underwater checking things out. It's just, it's beautiful. It's awesome. I miss that. I need it. It's just been, it's been cold here and I'm a Florida boy. So dude, I get cold, man. You know, if it's 60 degrees outside, 50 degrees outside or whatever it is, I know it's really cold everywhere else y'all are at. But, uh, yeah, dude, it's, it's cold. Going in the water, I hate the cold. I'm a Florida boy. I, I, got, I got cold blood like my snakes. You know what I mean? Oh, we love you, Tyler. You are a huge inspiration. Dude, thank you. Who's that? Bill. Oops. Oh, oh, I almost canceled. We love you, Tyler. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Jay Bean up. Thank you very much. Jarrett Vines. Hey, Tyler. Loving the tattoos you did for me. Oh, what's up, Jarrett? How are you doing, bro? I hope everything is well. Hey, man, real talk. I'd love to treat you to some Denver fishing and some gun sports. Fuck yeah, bro. Dude, if I actually, um, where was it? Um, September, I just got an email 
So tattoo conventions haven't been a thing for a while, okay? So all this, this whole 2020, there was not a single tattoo convention. Uh -huh. I didn't do any shows. And normally I do, normally I do like one or two tattoo conventions a year, which is a lot. Um, so this year, finally, yeah, COVID did ruin everything. Um, so there's a Tampa convention, or no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a retard. Ah, there is a uh, Atlanta, so Atlanta, Georgia is pretty open right now. It's kind of it's kind of similar to how South Florida is right now. You know, everywhere is open. You can eat at restaurants, and they're having like gatherings and all that all that stuff again. So Atlanta, we're gonna be doing a tattoo convention. Um, it is March 11th, 12th, and 13th. Okay, so write that down. Keep it in mind if you're in Atlanta. Come say what's up. Come get a shirt or get a sticker or something like that. So just get a picture, you know, say hi. Um, much appreciated. I'll be there. Um, and then to answer your question, Seth, um, Denver, I will be doing, I think in September. Last two years ago, it was in, yeah, I did, did I actually, um, yeah, it was, yeah, it was August actually, because, yeah, it was Kayla's birthday when we were there. So that was August. So August, beginning of August, um, is when the Denver convention was last time. But this time, I just got an email yesterday saying that the Denver convention is going to be in September. So Seth, you want to hang out? Come see me at the convention. Chill. Hit me up on Instagram. Um, maybe send me an email. That might be easier. My assistant does all that stuff. Um, so yeah, just. Uh, just hit me up, man. I'm down. I, I love shooting shit, you know? Of course, I love guns. I really want to do more gun stuff on Instagram. I just need to, uh, or on, uh, what is this, YouTube? I really need to figure out the legalities of that um, and just do it properly because obviously this is a monetized channel and this is, you know, one of my businesses is how I make part of my uh -huh. living. So um, I don't want to jeopardize that, obviously. So I got to be very careful about, like, what I talk about and what I do and what I say on YouTube because... We gotta follow the rules. I work for Google pretty much, you know what I mean? Like literally Google owns YouTube. I gotta like, I work for Google, essentially. Hi. You're funny. Taruk, relax, I know, she's crazy. <laughs> oh, you're laughing. You think that this is funny, Taruk? You think that this is funny, hmm? Funny story, so yesterday I had to take her to get her nails trimmed and her beak, her beak like filed. So what they do is they take this like, it's like a stone almost, and they just like file down her beak and make it all nice and smooth, and they make the tip not as sharp as it normally would be. Filed her nails down as well. Um, yeah, you that. But I guess we haven't done it. Uh, last time we took her to get her nails done, it was in um, October. So it's been a few months since she's gotten her nails done. So actually, she, uh, one of my buddies just clipped one of her nails pretty good, and... Uh, and yeah, she was bleeding like crazy yesterday. It was terrible. My heart was, it was, I just, I, she was fine too. But like just seeing my bird bleed for a little bit, just, I don't know. It messed me up for a little bit. It was sad. <laughs> I don't want anything to happen to you. You know, you're my babe. But yeah, her wings, like from before, I don't know if you guys remember how her feathers were before. She was, uh, she had that bacterial infection a long time ago. It was probably over a year ago now. Um, we obviously treated her for everything. We gave her all her medicine and love and attention and toys and all everything that she needed. And look, her feathers are absolutely beautiful again. Totally back to normal. Back to being yourself, you crazy little beep. I know. Very cute. Uh, what else we got here? Hey, I met you at the Daytona Reptile Expo with my dad. We talked. Can you, can you till the bird? I said, wow, that was really... Gotta look at what you type there, bro. It's really hard to read. It's like hieroglyphics, but yes. Tell the bird I said hi. Drew, he says hi. Church, when's the Tyler Nolan documentary? I get it, I told you, it's coming out. You don't gotta ask that a million times. It's gonna be the reptile, or the new Tiger King, or whatever the hell Eric Good is gonna call it, you know what I mean? Do I have the powder that stops bird from bleeding? Yes, I do, Christine, and I did use it on her, but it was hard. It didn't really, it worked kind of, but it like, it, it still took a while to, uh, it still took a while for her to stop bleeding. And I had to go to work. So I kind of had to like, 
I had no choice, you know, I had to leave. I had to, I had to work yesterday, so she just had to, but thankfully I came home and she was totally fine. She's back to being her normal, cute little self, you know what I mean? So, can we see Batman? Um, Batman was actually in the last video that I put online. Um, I'm, I'm home by myself right now. And uh, yeah, I'm on a live, and I just don't really wanna take those risks anymore. Um, I'm not, definitely not gonna handle any stinks right now on live. Um, but yeah, you guys just saw, the, if you wanna see Batman, just go watch the last video that I put up because I'm not doing any stinks on this one. This is just a Q&A &A and mainly having Tarouk on here because you guys have been asking to see Tarouk for a while now. I try to make videos with Tarouk. Trust me, I try to do them all the time. I tried to make one the other day, but she's very hard <laughs> to film with, very hard. She's got a crazy little mind of her own. She's a little attention. She needs lots of attention. So when I'm giving somebody else attention, like talking on my phone or something like that, that is when she's the most needy. Even when I'm on my phone, just walking around my house, talking on my phone to whoever, she knows that I'm on the phone. She freaks out and she goes crazy. See what other questions we got. Can you feed a snake can, a snake can? I don't even know what the hell that means. No, you gotta like make sense for in order for me to answer it. I hope they do not paint Tom Crutchfield as Joe Exotic. He's one of my, honestly, I don't hope that they paint him like that either. Tom has a lot of say about this next documentary. Um, he's, he's the main part of the documentary. So he, I know Eric has, I know Eric has given him like a lot of guidance and what is said on TV about this. And it's gonna be crazy. Hopefully I don't get painted like Joe, like Joe Exotic because they made me look, you'll, you'll see, like, you'll see. It's gonna be interesting. Like they got shots of my truck. They got shots of me and Kayla in bed with snakes and guns and they got me in the pool. It's just, it's, it's hilarious. It's, it's gonna be funny. And the people that know me, people that know me, you guys will find it entertaining and you'll think it's funny. And I mean, obviously I'm gonna look like an idiot to some people too, but I guess that's just TV. But uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Hopefully. I'm not, I'm dreading it. Trust me, I think about it every freaking day. Oh, all right, we've been on here for 40 minutes, okay? I love you guys. I wish I could talk to you all day. Where's Shiva? Shivi! Hey! Relax. Hey, Shiv. Come here. People wanna say hi to you. She's sleeping, you know? People want to say hi to you, Sheebies. She's just sleeping on the floor, being cute. She's the best animal that I have. She's my ride or die. Like, she's the best. She's the sweetest. Never gives me. She's the easiest animal I have to take care of. My dog is just a blessing. She's. She'll be seeing me nine in July. She's just the, like the best, most well-behaved dog ever. She listens to sentences. Never does anything wrong. Literally the perfect dog ever. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Oh, Emily, thank you. Yes, Shiva. She's destroyed them all already. All the toys that you sent. Hey, would you not bite my watch, please? It's like a very expensive watch. You don't do that, okay? Oh, let's see what I got on here before I close. Hey, man, Seth. I see that. Yes, Linda, five bucks. Say thank you, Linda. Um, so, yeah, guys, I got to go. I gotta get ready for today. I gotta take a shower, I gotta get ready. I gotta go buy my nephew a couple more birthday presents because we bought him, we bought my nephew a, a swing set for his birthday, like this big extravagant swing set for the backyard. And uh, it was, my brother tried putting it together and it was just like an absolute nightmare. It's made in China, the instructions are terrible. It, all the screws are the wrong sizes and it's just, it's a pain in the ass. So my brother really tried to put it together, kind of failed. So today's my nephew's birthday party. We don't have a freaking play set for them. So we have to return that, get another one. So I need to go to Target or something and get him some, get him some more toys to at least open today. So that way he's, I mean, I'm sure he's gonna have a million toys, but I just like to spoil my nephew. He's amazing. He is amazing. I love spoiling my little, my little dude, you know? So, all right guys. That is it. I appreciate everybody that watched. I appreciate everybody that donated. You know, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. Hey, listen. You stop biting my watch. Okay? You can't do that.
Uh, yeah, uh-huh, what? Yeah, it's like she understands me too. Don't do that. <laughs> you think you're funny. <laughs> oh yeah, you think you're funny. God, birds. I love birds, they're hilarious. But yeah, <laughs> I am out, guys. I have to go. <laughs> Would you stop? She's such a drama queen. <laughs> Relax, for sure, yeah. All right, guys. Till next time, you guys rock. <laughs> Wish me the best of luck. If you guys, if anybody out there, you, you pray, pray for me. Send me a little, <laughs> send me a little prayer. I need it right now. Um, you guys are awesome. Love you. Till next time. Hopefully I got better news for you next time. But till then, take care, guys. Enjoy your freaking weekend. <laughs> Saturday. Get out there. Do something cool. Go hang out with the people that you love. Just ch freaking cherish it. Don't, don't take, don't ah! take what you guys have for granted. You know what I mean? Because I, I do that. I have a lot of awesome things in my life, and some things I take for granted. And yeah, don't do that. Ah! Don't, don't do it. Don't take shit for granted. Cherish what, cherish the people that love you. Don't give up on them. Fucking fight for them. You know what I mean? Do it. All right. Love you guys. Ah! Till next time.